Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your PhD mentor, advisor, trainer. And I'm here once again to empower you with genuine, in-depth and well-researched knowledge. And this time we are going to talk once again about the PhD program of Indian Institute of Technology. So if you remember, we've already released the part one of this video in which, in which we have shared five facts related to the PhD program of IIT. We had told you how there are 23 Indian Institutes of Technology spread across the length and breadth of India and how all of them are offering you a PhD program. We had discussed something about the history, their geography, after which we had moved on to discussing how four-year graduates, BTECs and any other four-year graduates can pursue a PhD from most of the IITs. In fact, certain IITs are offering specialized PhD program for such young graduates. We had also told you about the part-time PhD program being offered by many IITs for working professionals. Then we had discussed that how you can pursue PhD in many different domains and not only in engineering. Yeah, for example, in management, entrepreneurship, humanities, social sciences, literature and so on. And of course, in the last point, we had discussed about full-time PhD with a stipend. How IITs, how most of the IITs are offering full-time PhD with institute assistantship and with a fellowship. So in case you missed our first video, then for you, we are sharing the link above in the I and in the description box below. In this video, we are going to discuss five more points. So let us start today's video without further ado. Fact 6. Full-time PhD in self-finance mode. So many IITs are offering a very unique full-time PhD program to students where they say that the students can pursue it in self-finance mode. So there could be a possibility that a student is very keen on pursuing a full-time PhD but is neither able to qualify any fellowship examination nor is able to get the institute assistantship. So what do these students do? they can apply to the full-time PhD program of IIT in self-finance mode. That means these students can pursue a full-time PhD but would not be getting any stipend from the institute or any other fellowship. However, if in case while pursuing their PhD in full-time self-finance mode, these students do qualify any JRF examination like the UGC NET JRF, then IIT is not going to stop them from taking this fellowship. However, in case they are not able to qualify any exam, then they will just have to simply continue in self-finance mode a full-time PhD. Now, you must be wondering that why would a person like to do a full-time PhD without any stipend? That is because there are many advantages of pursuing a PhD in self-finance mode, especially when you're doing it from a prestigious institute like IIT with such a lot of research exposure. What exactly are these advantages if you want to know? Then for you, we are sharing our links of our two videos, one which explains you clearly what exactly is a full-time PhD and the other one which tells you what are the advantages of pursuing a PhD in full-time mode. Still, if you have any questions, you can always post them in the comment section below. With this, we come to fact number seven. So students appearing in the final year of their qualifying degree can also apply to the PhD program of IIT. Yes, you heard it right. So in case you are a student who is currently pursuing the fourth year of their post-graduation, sorry, fourth year of their graduation, or the second year of their post-graduation, in both these cases, you can apply to the PhD program of IIT provided all your formalities like your classes, your examination, your viva, everything is completed before you actually start with your PhD program. Also, you would be given certain period of time, say three months or six months to submit your final year mark sheet and degrees. So this is something which you will have to adhere to. And most importantly, in the end, when the result comes, 
then you should have the required percentage of marks which which was stipulated by the institute for you to take admission in the phd program if by any chance you are not able to meet that percentage if you are not able to get that percentage of marks then your phd admission can be cancelled by your institute so keeping all these points in mind but you can definitely apply for a phd program even when you are appearing for your final year of qualifying degree fact number 8 gate is not the only eligibility exam accepted by iit a common myth associated with any program and definitely the phd program of iit is that you need to qualify or give the gate examination the full form of gate is graduate aptitude test in engineering and it is an exam which is conducted by iit and iisc so probably that is the reason that the students feel that it is compulsory to give your gate examination if you want to pursue a phd in iit but this is definitely not true iit is also accept many other eligibility examination like your ugc net your emrf nbhm and other similar government recognized fellowship examination or eligibility examination however for different subjects different examinations are accepted by different iits so you just have to take note of what subject you want to apply to and which eligibility exam is accepted but gate is definitely not the only eligibility examination which you can give if you want to apply for a phd program in iit this we come to fact number 9 which relates to the fee of the phd program iits do charge a fee from their full time and their part time scholar for the phd program the fee is usually similar for both part time and full time the variation occurs uh, related to your hostel and mess charges but otherwise the overall tuition fee and other charges remain more or less the same for all different kinds of uh fellows yes the reserved category for certain category of student relaxations in fee has been given by iit moreover the fees of iits vary across different institutes so uh we cannot say that what exactly is the fee because there are different iits charging different amount of fees but one thing is common that they do charge a fee for the phd program fact number 10 iits give you a doctorate degree this is def the last fact but definitely not the least fact that iits can give you a degree so all the iits are owned by the ministry of education the government of india and they are governed by the indian institute of technology act which gives them the power to grant a degree it also confers on them the title of institution of national importance all the 23 iits are governed by this act however each iit is an autonomous body and it is because of this that every iit has their own phd regulation and there is a lot of variation in the subjects which they offer in the fees which they charge and in the kinds of programs that they are offering for phd however one thing which is common amongst all iits is that they do give you a phd degree and once you finish your part time or full time phd from an iit you can use the prefix doctor in front of your name with this we come to the end of our video we've discussed with you all the 10 facts if there are still any questions related to iit phd please post them in the comment section below we will love to answer all your questions this is dr ritika gaba from zenith phd training and consultancy and if you do like the way we are trying to empower you with genuine in depth and well researched knowledge then please do subscribe to our channel like our videos and share them with your friends and colleagues thank you so much for watching my videos